Jerry, how are you? Your, your trend is out of it, are you? Uh, Jerry had his capsule last Thursday. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so it went very well. Oh, very process. well. Oh, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Good. Simply for the fact that he could come in, drive in, drive home. Staff were absolutely excellent at it because they made it all, took all the fear out of it, you know. It's the lead up to it that sometimes make it, makes you apprehensive. The way I felt was when Marie rang me and the doctor rang me and they were put you at ease before you had it, you know. That's good, yeah. So it made all the difference. That's brilliant. I was in, in and out within the hour. Absolutely. Even yeah. half an hour, two quarters of an hour gone. Yeah. At home. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I am delighted to welcome all today on the occasion of the launch of our direct access endoscopy service and to mark the commencement of the capsule endoscopy project. We were the first hospital in Ireland to be JCI accredited, setting the standard for excellence in healthcare for private hospitals and our endoscopy unit was the first private endoscopy unit to achieve JAG accreditation, the international gold standard for endoscopy units. Currently direct access accounts for a significant proportion of endoscopy, I'm told around currently 12 to 15 percent in our unit. And this new direct access program here at the Bonds refers to streamlining the administrative process around referrals and booking of patients and will allow a more efficient use and filling of the endoscopy lists of our 21 clinicians. Access to the small bowel has always been a challenge for clinicians. So the PILCAM is a big advance and we look forward to its further evaluation here in the Bon Secours Hospital at Glasnevin and indeed in other hospitals in the state. The launch of the GP Direct Access Endoscopy Service and the pilot <coughs> capsule endoscopy PILCAM demonstrates our ongoing commitment to advanced medicine and exceptional care and is entirely consistent with the founding mission of Bon Secours to provide good help to those in need. Last year the endoscopy department here completed almost 13,000 endoscopes in GI, respiratory and urology carried out by the highly professional medical team here in Glasnevin. Throughout the group, we carry out about 38,000 such procedures each year. Last year, we launched our uh, 2020 plan um, and um, we set out a, a considerable investment in all of our services across the country. It would be remiss of me not to mention um, Medtronic. Uh, it's great to be working with them as a partner in the Pilcom project. Um, partnerships is a key part of our 2020 plan. So we have a pilot of 50, um, we're about um, six or so patients into that, seven as I say if you count uh, Fergal. Um, we want to evaluate that pilot, um, we'd then love to discuss that with your minister in terms of what place this can um, take, not only in the service offering here but also across the public system. In our winter plan that we'll be launching in the coming weeks and indeed in our conversations with GPs as part of contract negotiations, looking at how we can do more direct referral to diagnostic uh, access is a key is a key ask of ours and I think what we're launching here today in the bonds is very innovative in that regard is an example of best practice and is an example of a process that I'd like to see replicated in so many areas of the health service. I'm also delighted that we're officially launching the pilot of the PILCAM. This has become very famous in recent weeks ever since Fergal Bower swallowed it and it was on the 6-1 news uh, but this is a very new and innovative way of um, enabling patients um, to ensure that all is well and to detect quite quickly uh, if there is a problem so that we can get on uh, with providing people with the treatment and the support that they need. And I want to thank uh, Jerry, who describes himself as our guinea pig, uh, but Jerry indeed I know came here last week uh, and uh, took the pill cam and has had a very positive experience. I want to thank you and Maria for taking the time uh, to talk me through your experience today as well. Again, we have to look at innovative ways and if technology can play a role in providing our patients uh, with quick access to tests and minimise the disruption in their own lives and also help uh, free up capacity within the health service and inpatient costs that otherwise would be incurred. That's something that we've got to look at. So I'm, uh, I'm intrigued by your pilot here. I know you'll have 50 and 51 with Fergal uh, patients go through that. And what I'd be asking from today is that we could share the learning um, from that pilot. 
because as Minister for Health, I want to make sure that every citizen in this country uh, can benefit from new and innovative ways of providing medical treatment. And I certainly look forward uh, to the public health system being able to learn from the pilot project that you here in the Bonds have commissioned with Medtronics. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank you for all that you're doing and thank you for your innovation and leadership in these areas. Give me a moment.